been in this performance marketing space. I've been starting in affiliate marketing, moving through into this info marketing and, and into, you know, I've done mobile marketing. I've done, I've done sort of the gamut of this whole space. And the thing that I've always been interested in is the way individuals uh, have been able to learn these tactics and apply them, you know, up, up along the spectrum and, and essentially build um, agencies, turn their media buying skills into agencies that are becoming more and more desirable for a whole spectrum of clients, not just traditional performance advertisers, but it, but the unique position that that these young people who understand social media, understand the levers and pulleys of Facebook ads, and understand you know traditional marketing principles as well, are just forming this new breed of of agencies that are probably doing some damage out there in the real world. What's your experience with this? Yeah, I mean, actually, just like I mentioned, it's honestly a little bit of trial and error. Um, you know, I've been the the people that have been around for a long time. Uh, we we know each other's names, and um, you know, honestly, it's like there there's no better teacher than experience. And so, I think one of the things that you had touched on is like, how did I get started? How did we create an agency? And honestly, it was um, I started by building my own e-commerce brands, um, and I built and sold a, a, a small, a, a, you know, a couple small handfuls of smaller e-commerce brands. But what happened from there is um, I kind of became known as, you know, kind of like the e-commerce guy or the e-commerce kid. A lot of people would introduce me to friends and family or people within their network that were trying to sell online. And what ended up happening is, um, you know, I started kind of doing hourly consulting and then eventually met the right people. And, and, and I met my two business partners and, and uh, both of them have a lot more agency experience and know the operation and the execution and honestly a lot of the professionalism i look up uh, to them for a lot of that stuff um, and and you just kind of combined like my growth hack strat slash uh, like growth hack and uh performance and, and director schmott's marketing strategies for e-commerce and mobile apps uh, and kind of married them together with with their experience in in, in operations and execution and and now we've got a, a great agency um but were you particularly saying like what what makes us different or, or how are we different than maybe some of the more traditional agencies well that answered a question for me actually because like you know the the, the that aspect of professionalism and operations you know the world the, the the affiliate performance marketer or the scrappy performance marketer that's never been their strength you know yeah. they're figuring shit out on the fly and testing and seeing results and doing things so it's it's interesting to me that you've had such success by marrying this, you know, traditional operation style that you have with your partners and yeah. the scrappy style of what you do. Yeah. I mean, to, to be honest with you, it, that's exactly what it is. Like, you know, we, we really have like three, you know, we, we have a few principles that, that we live by, like remain scrappy, remain nimble and, and have fun. Um, and I know like the third one's cheesy, but, um, you know, the, the, we are growth hack marketers. We're marketing maniacs. We're, you know, you know, like the the individual freelance contractor that is that knows direct response ads and knows how to build funnels and knows how to do all that stuff. Um, that's that's us too. Uh, but we just brought, you know, we have, you know, we have an operations team and project managers and analytics, like, the, the, and, and we have processes in place now. And so. Basically, what our goal was was to always remain scrappy. If if you head to our website or anything like that, that's that's literally our communication. It's like, hey, we are the scrappy go getters, the resourceful ones. We figure out a way to get it done. Uh, yet we yet we have that like big agency feel kind of or like the 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 uh, feel of working with a traditional agency with you know standardized kickoff calls and check ins and data studio reports and and all that stuff that you would expect from a much larger group and we've been able to harness the individual powers of of everyone on the team and and uh, and and kind of uh, you know grow the agency. I think there's probably a world of training to be explored on that other side as well. You know, we're always trying to push the boundaries on on uh, you know, the technical side of marketing, the creative side of marketing. But I, I think it's interesting that your, your partners, uh, yeah, could, I think there's, there's a lot of people that, that need to bridge, to, you know, to bridge your, like you, you, you're in a good position to have been able to take uh, these, these scrappy skills that you have and have a, you know, infused into this, into this larger business with massive scale. So speaking of scale, let's talk a little bit about Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Well, at iStack Training, we had our best ever uh, weekend. We tripled our sales from last year. Uh, and it was fantastic. We did, we, yeah, we, we were doing a lot of really cool things with the ads. Uh, it all worked well. Uh, talk a little bit about some of the clients you worked with uh, during Black Friday and what were the things that really.